episode 188 of the Witty and Gritty podcast. It's Brooke and Farron. Hi. <laughs> 2023. Exciting things coming up. It just makes me feel old. It makes me feel great. You feel old? We found out over Christmas break that Jacob and I have known each other almost 20 years, which means we yeah. also have known each other almost 20, 20 years. years. Okay, well, that's something to celebrate. Congratulations. Yeah. I can't wait for me and you to yeah. throw a party for ourselves. <laughs> like two more years to go and we'll be there. Wonderful. So we did want to mention we're moving in a new direction. What? what? Yeah. Record scratching. We're DJs now. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't hire us. <laughs> Psych. We're not. I'll just bring my iTunes account <laughs> and hit shuffle. <laughs> Some people are still like, okay, no, do not, <laughs> do not call me. You can find Farron at witty and gritty podcast at gmail.com. Email her and request her for your next event. Subject line, Brooke. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. uh, really, that's not what we're doing, but we are pivoting <laughs> a little bit. We are niching down. If you are in business world slash have a business, know what that means. That just means we're targeting a specific group of people, which is probably you already listening. Yeah, targeting feels weird. Maybe it's because I've watched so many Christmas movies, but I picture an elf, <laughs> the one guy that gets away from the snowball fight. He's mm-hmm. like, oh, one got away. He's like, like snowball. <laughs> and then he pelts him right on the back. It's funny. Maybe serve. Yes. We're going to serve a specific audience. That's but again, say that. well, I mean, we're in, we digest a lot of leadership info, business info. We want to serve you well. And, you know, just fulfill the calling of getting God's word out there. And so we, as we've been doing, Brooke, we've been meshing biblical wisdom with what the world says about managing such things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, serving the right audience. Yes. So specifically, that would be married people who love Jesus and also have kids. It sounds like we're serving ourselves. (laughs) (laughs) We're serving ourselves from 10 years ago. We know we've been through it. So now we have some... Steps to put in place. Yes. Successful people leave roadmaps. Yeah. yeah they leave Little trails. trails of success. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you can see it along the way. And we're not done yet. Nope. We got ways to improve and grow, but we'd like to pass on what we've learned. Yeah. Like if I would have been told certain things when I first had my first kid, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that'd be good. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't know you still looked six months pregnant until you... See that you still look six months pregnant after having a baby. And you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> this doesn't just go away. What happened? Oh. Oh. So yes, we in the past have had book study mini series and we've read through that. And now we're flipping the switch a little bit. Yeah. So we've taken really great leadership books, personal growth books, um, personal, like what would you describe the Enneagram as? Personality typing systems. Personality system? typing systems. And added the biblical lens because while they have really good points, it's neat to see one sometimes direct quotes from you know the Bible mm-hmm. that'd be good <laughs> that aren't always directly coded. But there's a lot of good wisdom out in the world. But we gotta be sure that we're always bringing it back through that biblical lens. So what we found is, man, we talk about the scripture a lot, which is a great thing. Mm-hmm. And we're in a lot of Bible studies and Bible groups. You've heard about the importance of community. And so, again, when we think of serving our audience, what seems to come up is this desire to get into the Word more, to learn more about Scripture, and be consistent, Mm -hmm. I think, is a really big deal. But then, like you said, moms with kids is a lot of our audience as well. And so, how can we teach our kids? And so, that is kind of where this concept or new shift has really come from. And we're excited about it. Yeah. And growing up, I've mentioned this on the podcast, I grew up with a certain phrase and then Farron and I, we've demonstrated slash lived this out for a while now. It's the read your Bible, always pray, tell love Jesus, love each day, spend some time with Christian friends and you're going to grow, going to grow in him. So when we sat down and started talking about how can you grow yourself as a Christian, we talk about it, reading your Bible. So knowing who God is and what he says, and then praying, communicating with him and develop, developing that relationship And then spending time with Christian friends, that's that biblical community that we all know that we're designed for and that we need. And then to tell people about Jesus, that's an important piece too that sometimes we just forget. We are not intentional 
with telling people and who are our most important people to tell is the ones we're being good stewards towards. Or that last one makes you want to like throw up a little bit. <laughs> you're an introvert. Well, you live with your kids, so we're starting under the roof, right? Yes. And it's one of those things like when the dentist tells you that you should probably floss, you know, every day. Why do they ask you? <laughs> like they're looking at your teeth. Why do they ask you're you? You're bleeding from your mouth. How often you floss? I know you don't floss. Is it Not just once. humor? Do they joke about that in the lunchroom? I wonder if they're like, is this person a liar or not? Let's find out. Do you floss? <laughs> well, I brought that up because like, I would love for my kids to floss their teeth and brush their teeth and do all the things, but then sometimes I'm not the one that does it myself. And so I want my kids to want to read their Bible and I want, mm-hmm. man, our church does a good job with the whole memorizing scripture thing. Anywho, I'm looking at them and they're memorizing it and they're like, did I get it right? I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the magnet you brought? <laughs> let's, oh. let's check with the magnet. <laughs> you forgot to give me the magnet first. Yeah, but how cool would it be to walk through that with your kid? Or uh-huh. like, hey, why don't you show me like the hand? Because a lot of them, they do memory pegs with it. That's just physical body motion. That's mm-hmm. one of the things that we talk about in our in our free guide for you guys. But memory pegs is one way to memorize verses, and that's what is pretty popular amongst the small children. Yeah. So if you guys have wanted to get more into Scripture... But picking up the Bible is intimidating. We're still going to recommend you do that, but we're going to ease you into that process. If you'd like to memorize scripture, but you're like, I can't memorize anything, we're here for you on that as well. Mm -hmm. And also, whether you're a parent or not, maybe you're in a leadership position and you want to share scripture with others. Or how many times do you have a friend that like asks you to pray for them or is going through a hard season? And it would be nice to have like, a scripture handy yeah. to either jot down or send in a text message. Mm-hmm. And so, again, we are still learning and growing, yeah. but we've come a long way, and we're going to do that work for you. Yeah, so what it's going to kind of look like is we'll still do weekly podcast episodes, but we're going to hit you with some scripture. So the first five weeks, it's going to be our favorite five verses from Galatians, and we'll walk through those things and talk about how to read or memorize or understand that scripture, how to pray over that scripture, how to talk to your peers and kind of work through what that means for adulthood and your life, and then how to tell your own kids about it. So read, pray, talk, tell. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say, you know, I want to read my Bible, but man, the preacher gets up there on Sunday, we read one verse, and man, they just dissect that thing, Mm -hmm. and it speaks to me, and I leave all fired up, but like, I go read it. And I'm going back and rereading it because I started thinking about my grocery list. Mm -hmm. So we're here to help make it relevant as well. And just like we did with the book series too, is we're pulling out, you know, our personal favorites. So as mentioned earlier, we're going to encourage you to go read at least around the scripture we're talking about. Baby steps, baby steps. But maybe you're like, I just need kind of a reading plan. Uh, Just break it down for me. Again, we got you. Yeah. We got you. We're going to make this as easy as possible, along with our hilarious commentary. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. That we think is funny. And DJ skills. Don't forget. (laughs) Don't forget. So that's that's where we're going. We're moving forward, and it's looking like we're going to do some four letters from Paul for the first bit of the year. What a tease. Our our fave five. Our fave five from our four letters yeah like what? the fab four except fab the fave five we'll also do gymnastics <laughs> no <laughs> while we play music okay right, we're can tying I, it all together can i get the one with the ribbon of course what what's that one it's ribbon dancing i assume okay i don't know we're going with it it's probably the best one obviously. somebody write in yeah rhythmic gymnastics oh that's what it is yeah how did that pop in my head oh the holy spirit <laughs> wants you to do it <laughs> <laughs> oh man anyway. Okay, so that's where our new pivot is. So we wanted to just inform y'all about it instead of being like, surprise, what happened? (laughs) Where did we go with this? This is where we're going. So like Enneagram 1s and your number touches a 1, 2, Farron. So we want to know like, where are we we going? So the plans for 2023 are we're bringing you scripture and we're going to tell you how to implement it and what works for us. Yes. So yeah. And we're going to start off by sharing. I'm sharing one of my favorite or like my scripture of the year. Mm-hmm. You know how people have a word of the year? Yep. And I guess I could narrow it down to a word if you guys make me. Yes, Please I'm going to make you. Cause I, and then you're going to have to make me pull a scripture from it because I have a word for the year. Okay, perfect. So you go first. Well, it's two words. Okay, great. Sounds like. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Act it out now. <laughs> We're so versatile. Look at us. <laughs> All okay. right, what is your scripture for 2023? Well, I'll give you the two words. Okay, great. 
and it's press on. Yes. Now, there is the scripture that says, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Jesus Christ. However, just like we're going to do in the upcoming series, you should read around Mm -hmm. the fabulous scriptures. What are we pressing on from? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, if you back up, that's verse 14, but if you go back to 12... It says, not that I have already obtained this or have already arrived at my goal, Mm -hmm. which to me speaks a lot to what we do. Yeah. That we are going to grow our entire lifetime Mm because if you ain't grown, you ain't dying. So we're never done, always looking to improve and get better. So not that I have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. So I think that's pretty neat. It says press on in verse 12 and then repeats it in 14. In case you missed it. Yes. Mm-hmm. That and we've learned in other Bible studies that if the word is repeated, that is not on accident. It's mm-hmm. for emphasis. It's very, like that word and phrase is very important. So I was like, all right, I'll narrow it down to press on. Yeah, that's really good. But then I like 13 too. Oh man. It says, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind... And straining toward what is ahead. Then it says, I press on toward the goal to win the prize. So the key there for me in 13 was forgetting what is behind. So your past is your past. Learn from it. Grow from it. But move on. And so it's leaving that behind and straining forward. Work in progress. Failing forward. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Toward what is ahead. Future focused. So that's all wrapped up in that. Again, I'll read it one last time. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's Philippians 3.14. Yep, I should have started with that. That's okay, I got your back, ma'am. I got your back. (laughs) They would have wanted it repeated. (laughs) Oh, see? Yeah. Yeah. Have we said it in Philippians 3.14? I did say it, actually. (laughs) You guys just forgot I said it. (laughs) So my word of the year. So in the past, it's been different things. I think I mentioned on Rhett's podcast episode, it was Gyra for anyway for provision but this year it's i'm going with saturate which is a word Mm -hmm. i don't use a lot so that's how i knew god was like use this word because it popped up like three different times in a very short amount of time i've been praying about this and then i thought oh well all right that's easy and then it makes me think about the what what is the bible story where he wants a sign from god to and so he saturates the wool and then saturates everything but the wool asking for signs but then anyway I like so that one. I, basically, I want to be so saturated in the Bible and all things Jesus that it is oozing out of me. Oozing? Oozing. That it is. It's obvious that I'm drenched in How it. How about radiating? Radiating like Moses off the mountain. Just sure. not Some, oozing. Yeah. I just want it to be like... I don't know. If I can put enough spiritual kindling around my children, that way when the Holy Spirit's like, yeah, girl, come on, it lights a fire in my kid. So... Anyway, saturate is what I'm going with. I like it. And not oozing. Not oozing. So sorry. <laughs> Radiating. Uh, my word choice today has been terrible. I'm like, target, that's aggressive. And then ooze, that's gross. Listen, you're yeah. awesome with your words, so don't even. Don't even start. Yes. So our goal this year is also to give short, impactful episodes because ain't nobody got time to listen to Really long things, unless it's an interview and we want to hear like their story and bringing them in for a specific purpose. But as far as time crunch, you need to learn and then push out to your kids or your yeah, people. I think that's what it is. It's like we're going to give you you know, a lot in a short amount of time, but then we're going to ask you to go read around yeah. the scripture. We'll give it to you. But if you go and you know read it yourself, mark up your Bible. It's pretty cool. I have had a Bible now. Well, I've had it for a long time, but I've been writing into it. one, yeah. <laughs> and so it's neat to flip through and see just how much I've learned or studied or mm-hmm. heard about and just hi- like read the highlights, what stood mm-hmm. out to me, who knows how long ago, because I don't date it. Right. But that's pretty cool. So yeah, after you listen to it, go read about it. Turns out we talk about journaling a lot. Mm-hmm. We might give you prompts or things to think about and journal and meditate on. And then like you said, and we've said, is we want you to go ahead and share it with others. Yeah. 
And you know what? The Holy Spirit will nudge you. So if you're like, I ain't doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how. shove you. Yeah, you'll be in the just right situation to yeah. share the just right thing. Yes. So we are coming alongside you guys to support you and help you grow too. So you can turn around and help your people grow as well. Yeah. And hey, if you have a word or scripture of the year, hit us up. Yes. Send it to us. We'd love to hear what you guys are reading or what's sticking out to you. We love giving people shout outs. Um, yes, it's a great community we have. So we can't wait to hear. And we will see you guys next week. Next week for the first letter that Brooke teased. Ah, yes. Oh, but before we go, we do have a free resource. If you're on the email list, you already got to go check your inbox. Yay. I'm winning. It is 12 memorization strategies about how to memorize scripture. So it gives you 12 strategies to implement. And we'll kind of walk through those as we go through our episodes. And what we do with our kids or what works for us. And bonus, if you get better at memorizing scripture, you also will start getting better at memorizing other things. Hooray! Like <laughs> it's your a grocery skill. list. Yep. You got this. <laughs> okay. See you next week. Bye. Bye.